All right, boys and girls, I hope that you have your recorders handy because we are going to need them now. I challenge you to a duel. Let's see who is going to get the most pattern rights, me or you. If you get them correct, you win. So we are going to work on our D and C fingerings today. As a review, remember your left hand goes on top. Find A, fingers one and two. Get rid of finger one. This is known as C. Can you copy this? Good. All right, now let's see if you can keep C, but get rid of your thumb. This is D. Which one was higher, D or C? And the alphabet D is higher, so D is also higher on our recorder or on any musical instrument that you would ever play or any notes that you would ever read. D is always higher. Another thing we need to remember here is that on your staff, D is also going to look higher than C. We have D on line four. D always lives on line four. That is the alphabet house number name of our staff on Solfa Street. C is always on space three. That is the alphabet name of the house on space three. Always, 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 always. So we have D and C. All right, are you ready to start our game? Here we go. The first pattern that I want you to play is this one right here. Can you audiate it first, please, with your fingers ready? I'll give you a hint. It starts on D. Audiate and finger ready and go. All right, recorders ready to play, ready, and here you go. Wonderful boys and girls, I love it. Did it sound like this? Or D, C, D, C. If so, congratulations, you get a point. If not, I get a point, but you know what? This next one is worth two points. So who's going to get it, you or me? The last one looks like this. See what it starts on? All right, audiate and finger. Get your recorders ready. Here you go. Did you get it? We'll find out. Ready to play? Here you go. Did you play? D, 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 C. You are right. Oh, hey, that reminds me of a part of Owen oh, the Saints. Turn to page 16, and I'm going to give you a hint right off the bat. It's on line three. What words match? Did you say, in that number? Then you are correct. All right, let's try the first, or sorry, let's try line three. We're going to try it in chunks at a time, but first I want to sing all of line three, starting with, how I'd love to be in that number. Ready and go. How I'd love to be in that number. Very good. Now, can you sing and sing? B A G. Your turn. B A G. Way back when we used to play hot cross buns. Can you play it now? Ready and go. Good. Now I need to be in that number. That's the part you just practiced with a few extra notes. If we were doing it singing and singing with alphabet names, here's what it would be. G, B, D, 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 C. Let's try that one more time with our alphabet names, starting on G. G, B, D, 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 C. Try playing it. Ready and go. 
go. Good, boys and girls. Let's try the whole third line. Starting with B-A-G, can you sing and bang the alphabet name? B-A-G, G-B-D-D-D-C. All right, now play. Ready and gentle air. Very good. The last line goes, when the saints go marching in, which is like what we did last week with a little change at the end. Let's sing and sing right away. Ready and starting on B, B, C, D, B, G, A, G. Carmen had to check the ending because I forgot it changes a little bit there. Let's do that two more times, singing and singing alphabet names. Starting with B, B, C, D, B, G, A, G. Last time, starting on B, B, C, D, B, G, A, G. Ready to play? Now for the super challenge, can you play the whole piece? Let's see if you can keep up. If not, keep practicing. Here we go. Did you make it through with three mistakes or less? Have you been practicing? Great. Send me a passport check video and I will mark you down for a stamp. Nice work, fourth graders.